But did you know that the man who invented the most important vehicle ever made was born in Walthamstow? John Kemp Starley. Ever heard of him? I didn't think so. J.K. Starley invented one of the most important forms of transport ever. The safety bicycle. <clears throat> if I might just butt in here... You need a bicycle, you need a bicycle. It really is the business if you want to get around. You need a bicycle, you need a bicycle. It is the best way to perambulate by a foul. Need some bars at the front and a diamond frame. A crank in the middle and the wheels are just the same. You need a chain from the crank connected to the wheel and a big leather saddle for a nice comfy feel. You need a bicycle, you need a bicycle. It really is the business if you want to get around. You need a bicycle, you need a bicycle. It is the best way to perambulate by a foul. John Kemp Starley was born on Church Hill, Walthamstow, on Christmas Eve, 1855. As a boy, he was a studious child and took a keen interest in the new technology of the day steam trains. JK was offered an apprenticeship with James Starley's company in Coventry. The first Rover bicycle they produced had remote steering, far too complicated. The second version was simpler but too delicate. The third version set the fashion to the world. This basic design has remained unchanged for almost 150 years. The bicycle became a huge craze in the late 19th century. The bicycle led to the biggest diversification of the gene pool in the world. People could travel further to fall in love. Get on the bicycle of love and heaven's above. You'll find a spouse set up a house and fly high like a dove. If like you want to straddle, then jump up on the saddle of the bicycle of love. It's always said that in springtime A young person's thoughts turn to love But if you check out the local talent They can often turn out to be a bit rough And if you want to diversify the gene pool Finding someone new can be tough So what you gotta do Is seek out pastures new and get on the bicycle of love on the bicycle of love and heaven's above You'll find a spouse set up a house and fly high like a dove There is no better way to exchange your DNA Than on the bicycle of love Of course, JK didn't invent two-wheeled transport The first device was the hobby horse, or Dray's N invented by Baron Karl von Drees in Germany. This was heavy, made of wood, with two wagon wheels, and was scooted along with the feet. Great for going downhills, but exhausting going up. In France, Pierre Michaud and the Olivia brothers attached a pedal crank to the front wheel of a hobby horse, and the Velocipede was born. Again, it was heavy, but it was easier to propel than just your feet on the ground. In England, it was found that if you made the front wheel bigger, you could go a lot faster. And this is where James Starley's ordinary bicycle, or penny farthing, comes in. After that, it was down to J.K. Starley to make a bicycle that appealed to all. Women were able to travel and experience the world on their own for the first time. This contributed to modern feminism and the suffrage movement. Here I am, riding down the street. I'm on my bike and it's such a treat. I got the freedom of a neighbourhood I go anywhere and it feels so good I'm a modern young woman on a bicycle I don't need a man to live a life that's full Here I am as cool as an icicle Women need men like a fish needs a bicycle We created the suffragettes We want equality, you can bet We may end up in prison We created modern Feminism. I'm a modern young woman on a bicycle I don't need a man to live a life that's full Here I am as cool as an icicle Women need men like a fish needs a bicycle JK died at the tragically young age of 46 in 1901 JK's basic design looks almost like a modern day bicycle You cannot say this of other forms of transport 
the Wright Brothers Flyer looks nothing like a modern aircraft. The first car developed by Carl Benz looks nothing like a modern car and much more like a horseless carriage. The bicycle has changed the lives of people all over the world and is going to be even more important in the future. The end. <laughs>